Good evening, it's me again, Jude here, obstetrician, gynecologist and fertility specialist in Perth. Now today my topic is on azoospermia, as it is one of my main interests in subfertility. Azoospermia means no sperms in the ejaculation. Many people don't appreciate that male factor can contribute up to 50% of infertility in couples with difficulty conceiving. Azoospermia is discovered by doing semen testing where um, we don't find sperms in the ejaculation. I have male patients came to see me and being told by other health professionals that there is not a chance to get sperms. However, no sperms in the ejaculation may not be the end of the road. It is far from it, in fact. If a man has azoospermia, he should see a fertility specialist to do more tests to begin with. Usually the testicles make sperms and on ejaculation, the sperms are being sent via the tubular systems. Azoospermia can be caused by blockage in the tubular systems, so it makes sperms but it's being blocked from being brought outside. Or it can be due to reduced sperm production or sometimes no sperm production in the testicles. Sometimes a simple blood test can give many clues for or you know many clues for the cause. For some men, sperms can be produced after a few months of hormonal treatment, so we can treat them and make the men produce sperms by giving hormonal injection, for example. For others, you may need surgery to uh, successfully yield sperms. Now those with with blockage should usually have sperms retrieved successfully for their fertility treatment. For men with reduced sperms, um, we should use microsurgical method to retrieve sperms to improve the chance of success. Technically, there are two microsurgical methods, MISA and also MicroTC. Your surgeon should have done many cases in both of them to provide the best chance of getting sperms. Just like many techniques, it can take years to be good at doing them. Now for some men, uh, the microsurgery method confirms that there, there are no sperms to be found. In my opinion, this is the best method to prove that we have done everything we can. As for uh, men who have not had the microsurgical method, it is worthwhile to consider it, as I've managed to obtain millions of sperms sometimes for men whose previous biopsies without using the microsurgical method and was unsuccessful. So we use microsurgery, we managed to get loads of sperms. So I see cases like that every so often. All right, that's it for today. Bye-bye.